Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing fine. We often come across situations where our sentences go wrong. What can we do about it? Should we rely on external softwares to correct our grammar? Well, here is where I discovered an amazing package called as Gramformer. So in this video, I'll show you how you can correct your sentences using Gramformer and I'll also show you how you can create an interface using Gradio. So without wasting any further time, let's kick start the activity by installing Gramformer. Let me start by upgrading pip. So the way I would do that is pip3 install minus q pip is equal to pip is equal to 20.1.1. Now I'll go forward and install Gramformer as well. So let me paste in the command. Now I'll quickly run the cell. All right, the installation is done. Let me go forward. Let me also show you something. So for that, I'll import the date module from the date time class. So from date time, import date. Today is Today is date dot today and I'll print today. So I'm recording this video on 20th of Feb 2022. So if there are any changes that come about in the library, feel free to reach out to the creators of this amazing library. Now let me go forward and import Gramformer. So the way I would do that is from gramformer import gramformer. So this is what we have. Now firstly I'll create an instance of the gramformer class and save it into a variable. So I'll say gf. So I'll say gf is equal to gramformer. And I want the correction model, which is something that you can read up in the documentation, which is basically the value one, which is what you have to select. So when I run this, it basically downloads the BERT model. So now we have the Gramformer model into our variable GF. So now I can quickly go forward and correct some sentences. So let me show you the power of Gramformer. So in order to correct a sentence, all you have to do is gf dot correct is basically the function that you'll have to call. Pass in an incorrect sentence. So I'll say my name are Bhavesh. So this is like a wrong statement. My name is Bhavesh is the correct statement. And I also have to define something called as max candidates. So max candidates is nothing else but how many terms you want to correct in your sentence. So given this is a small sentence, I would say max candidates is equal to one. So let me quickly run this. So this is the correct output. The output that you see right now is basically stored in a set. So that is what we have right now. So I'll quickly go forward. Now I have the function running. I have the model with me. All I have to do is now create an amazing interface that you guys can start utilizing. So for that, I'll require Gradio. So I'll quickly install that. So the way I would install Gradio is pip install minus Q Gradio. The installation is complete. So I'll go forward and import Gradio. So the way I would do that is import Gradio as GR. Now I have to create a callback function for which I'll say def correct underscore sentence 
the input would be a text so i'll say text i'll say result is equal to this particular variable is what i want so this is something that would be triggered once i press the submit button so gf dot correct i pass in the text here so this is what we have right now and i'll say return result of zero the reason why i'm saying zero is because i have a set that is outputted here i want to reference the first element of the set which is my name is bhavesh so that is what we'll have here so i'll quickly run this cell now i'll define the interface so i'll say spelling correction interface is equal to gr dot interface the function that i'll be calling is basically this function which is correct underscore sentence so this goes here the input of the interface is text and so is the output so that is what i define here and i run this so i got the error the i should be capital here so i made a mistake here so yeah now i have the interface up and running i just have to launch the interface so i'll copy this and i'll click on launch and i'll type in launch so this is a small interface which i've created in literally one or two lines of code i'll take in the same sentence again which is my name are bhavesh i copy this i paste it here i press submit and it gives me an error let me go forward and debug why i'm getting this error so let me try this so now when i press submit it gives me an error set object is not subscriptable so that is what it says since set is something that is giving me an error let me convert this into a list so wait so list of result of zero or list of result so let me first stop this let me take the result and convert the set to a list and then i'll reference the first element so this is something that you can also do so yeah i'm running this i again run the interface creation piece and i launch the interface again let me copy the sentence again so now when i pass in the text and press submit hopefully it should work so yes it's changing my name as well but overall it's basically improving the output in terms of the grammatical errors so that is something that i'm really happy about so yeah this is a small demo that i wanted to show you in terms of how you can use bird based modifications in your day to day workflow for carrying out various tasks such as sentence correction and how simple it is these days using gradio to create an interface that you can ship very quickly so this is all that i had in today's video i hope you found today's video informative if you do like the content that i post on my channel it would be super super motivating if you can press the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified for amazing videos on data science and machine learning thank you so much for watching the video